The flight attendant accused Meg of blocking the aisle with a costly mulberry bag and making his trip over. In March 2020, Meghan and Harry carried out their final royal engagement, standing shoulder to shoulder with the rest of the firm at the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. Meghan said the head of crew of her flight to Canada spoke to her after she settled into her seat and they headed back to Canada. She said he came and knelt next to my seat and he took his hat off and I just remembered looking at him and he goes, We appreciate everything you did for our country. Describing the impact this emotional statement had on her, she continued. And it was the first time I felt like someone saw the sacrifice, not for my own country, but for this country that's not mine. We landed in Canada, and one of our security guards, who had been with H for so long, and these guys were so wonderful. I just collapsed in his arms crying, she added. I was like, I tried so hard. He was like, I know you did. I know you did, Mom. I know you did. However, after the information has been verified, it's clear that there's no airline with a route to Canada that has a uniform with a hat. As described by Megan, dozens of analyst articles have been posted on aviation industry forums. And of course, there's no single unit that can verify Megan's words. On the contrary, there was one comment that received thousands of likes about an experience with Megan. The account named James, the cabin wrote, The Duchess usually brings very expensive bags onto the plane, and she wears glasses no matter if it's rain or shine. She always seemed quite cold and apathetic. Unlike the grinning pictures of her, I had seen her stories like this in a cheesy soap opera. Once Megan had put a mulberry bag in the aisle, and I tripped over it without seeing her move it, I said, Can I keep your stuff out of the aisle? Another flight attendant revealed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex did not pay for the drinks and snacks that they had themselves at the beginning of the flight. They looked at the menu, and I could see they were discussing what to order. When we went through the service trolley, they stopped me and asked for a drink and a snack. But at the time to take the payment, I didn't know what to do as they didn't ask for the bill, and it seemed like they assumed that it was free. I was too embarrassed to ask, so I just left. The third person even confirmed the story. She served the scowled Duchess after she got off the plane. The anonymous staffer is quoted as saying, Every 10 minutes I had to go outside as Megan screamed at their aide through the phone. It was, I can't believe you've done this. You've let me down. What were you thinking? It went on for a couple of hours. There were a lot of broken people. Megan has previously denied allegations of bullying. They were published just before Megan's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey was broadcast. Let's just call this what it is a calculated smear campaign based on misleading and harmful information. Megan's lawyer, Jenny Afia, previously told a documentary. What bullying means is improperly using power repeatedly and deliberately to hurt someone physically or emotionally. 